Welcome back to another Reaper blog tutorial. Doing this mobile today, so it might look and sound a little different than normal, but uh, I'm going to see if this works out. What we're talking about today is how to set up recording to two different locations at the same time. The internal drive and an SD card in this situation. That could be two external drives, that could be an internal and an external drive, USB stick, uh, any of those sorts of options in any combination. You can have up to two recording locations uh, recording simultaneously in Reaper. Before we get any farther, we got to save this project. So I'm just going to save, and I'll save into my mobile projects folder. And we'll call this, uh, I don't know, test, test recording. And I'll create a subdirectory for this. And now we'll open up project settings. And here in the media tab, I have path to save media files as a folder called audio files. Reaper's going to automatically create a folder called audio files here. Now let's set up our external drive to do the same thing. We go to secondary recording path. You leave this blank. That's the default. And if you're recording to only one drive, that's all you need. But if you're recording to two, you need to enter something in here. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to go to my um, my SD card, make a new folder, and this was test recording, and uh, yeah, we'll just go here, and click OK. You might think that's all you need to do, but there's one more step that you need to do first. You need to select the track, right click on the track recording button, and go to track recording settings, which brings up this window. Maybe you've seen it before, maybe not. Uh, this is where you would set up quantized MIDI on the input. This is where you can override the default recording settings, such as 24-bit. You can record a track in 8-bit if you want. You could set the recording format to FLAC or other formats. What we're looking for in this case is setting the recording to audio path to primary, secondary, or primary plus secondary as invisible backup. So let's choose that third option, close the window, record something as a test. We're testing recording to two hard drives at the same time. Obviously, I had no idea what I, <laughs> what I was going to say. I froze up as soon as we started recording. But uh, let's look in Finder. So we'll go to first the Documents folder, Reaper Media, Projects, Test Recording, Audio Files, and there is the first recording uh, done just now from this track named 1. Go to my H5, Test Recording, and there's the same file, and we can import that in on a new track. Line it up and it's going to be exactly the same. So Reaper has just saved this file to two locations at the same time. And this is great for a backup. If you're doing live recordings and you want to have a backup automatically, this is a great way of doing it. As far as I know, it doesn't take any additional overhead, but maybe that's something you want to test in mission critical sort of situations. This is great just to have a backup in case one hard drive goes down during the recording, you automatically have a backup on a separate drive. This also saves you time uh, copying at the end of the day to a second drive. So all the big audio files will be moved automatically, but you will need to copy any small files, like the project file. I hope this video looks OK and sounds OK. I'm recording this mobile today uh, just as a test of the system. It's a new system for me. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.